Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are gonna go over installing custom songs, mods, Beat Sabers, like the actual Sabers themselves, and all that stuff in Beat Saber, the latest version, uh, which is 143, using BMBF. Now, BMBF has been pulled uh, from the GitHub. There was apparently some sketchy code. I'm guessing it was probably in the PC uh, component, so the app that you installed on your computer that were then loaded on to your headset. Um, so we're gonna show you how to do this without using the PC component, uh, just using the app, which is still available. I found the link over at the uh, SideQuest uh, Discord, so I will link to that down below. Uh, and then you're gonna need to install, sideload the uh, app, the MBF, and then sideload uh, the launcher app, which is just an app that I put together so that you can get to it really easily from within your unknown sources. Uh, we'll jump into all this and I'll show you how to do everything you need to do from within the headset, no PC required at at all, uh, or how you can also install uh, songs and mods and things like that using a browser on your PC if you prefer to do it that way. So yeah, let's jump into this. Tyco Tech, Tech Reviews and Tutorials. Okay, so download the two apps down below and you're gonna need to sideload those via your favorite side loading method. But the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do um, if you've modded Beat Saber before is uninstall it using SideQuest or you can use a file manager in the headset if you know how to do that. Uh, but if you don't and you just wanna use a SideQuest, uh, plug in your headset with Update 10, at least for me, my unknown sources is still there, but in order to get uh, USB debugging or dev mode to work for me plugging it into the USB, I have to re-enable it every time I restart the headset. So my unknown sources are always there, but I have to re-enable dev mode using the app uh, every single time I restart the quest so that side quest will recognize it. So do that, you may need to restart uh, dev mode you're gonna open up a side quest. You're gonna click on this icon up here, currently installed apps, uh, and then you're gonna see Beat Saber. Just click the gear and then click uninstall app and it uninstalls it. Then make sure that you restart the quest. Uninstall Beat Saber, restart the quest, reinstall Beat Saber, and then you need to run it once. So just open it up in solo mode, start to play a game, you can back right out of it, that's that, but you do need to run it once for everything to work smoothly. Now, go ahead and side load the uh, BMBF and the Launcher app, and we'll jump in and I'll show you what it looks like and how we go through actually modifying Beat Saber. So we'll hop in here, so over here on the left, you're gonna see unknown sources. Let me move this controller because it's triggering my guardian. So you're gonna see unknown sources over here to the left. And then here's the little launcher I did and I just renamed it a.com so that it goes all the way to the top because this is in alphabetical order. So we've got the BMBF launcher. It's going to open up. And since you've never modded Beat Saber before, it'll bring you right to setup. So you're just gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on continue. It'll ask you to uninstall Beat Saber. You're gonna click OK here in a sec when you get a prompt. And uh, I might just do some jump cuts so we can get through this sort of quickly. Okay, so uninstall, click OK. And then it's gonna uninstall it. And then we're just going to click on Patch Beat Saber. Uh, and this does take a second. later okay and then once that's done just scroll down and you're gonna go ahead and click on install modded Beat Saber it'll take a sec to stage the app this is pretty quick and then just click install and then it'll take a second to install the modded Beat Saber so another jump cut okay now once Beat Saber is done installing do not open it just click done and then it'll take a second loading configuration now if you've already modded using beat on BMBF will rename the beat on folder where all of your custom songs were already. So you didn't lose them, so no worries there. You're just gonna go over to tools, scroll down, and you're gonna click on reload songs folder. You can skip this step if uh, you've never modded or had custom songs using uh, beat on, but uh, if uh, you're coming over from that, then this will uh, load those up. So <laughs> another jump. 
Okay, there we go. So we've got folder load complete, 172 folders. So that's 172 songs. You can go up here and click on playlist. Uh, and here's your custom playlist. I'm gonna go ahead and if you click this icon, you can sort alphabetically. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And now it's sorted. And now let's go ahead and actually edit this uh, instead of custom songs. You can change the name. So uh, we'll go in here. We'll call it something cool. Like I always go with my jams. There we go. Now you're just going to click sync to Beat Saber and boom, you're all done. Now you can get jiggy with this and you can create playlists and drag and drop songs over to more playlists. So if you wanted something with rap or you know classics or 60s or whatever, uh, and that would be done just by clicking this purple icon, but we're not gonna get into that. Uh, now let's show you how to find songs. So you're gonna click on browser, pretty simple. Uh, this browser that's integrated in this like refreshes like that, it's kind of a uh, hit or miss. Uh, but let's just go to the very first song we see. You're going to click the download arrow right there and download the zip file. And then boom, it was successfully added. We can go back over to playlists uh, and it's gonna be all the way at the bottom. Uh, but there it is with the feeling of nice to meet you. I don't want that song, so we'll exit out. Uh, click sync to Beat Saber. It's gonna sync everything over uh, and you're good to go. So we've done all the songs. Let me show you some mods uh, and how to actually download them and install them. And we're talking like different sabers. You can change the signs up top. Uh, so go ahead and click browser. You're going to click the little earth icon and you're going to select Google because we're going to actually do a search uh, and click Google. And then just do a search for like BMBF GitHub. And then just go down, Red Brumbler, right there. So this is the one you want. You're gonna click on it. And we can go down here and he, these are the different mods. So there's like note cubes, platforms are the things you stand on when you're actually in the game, Saber Trails. Let's go to Saber right here. And we'll just uh, grab a Saber here. I've got some Sabers I've ported from the PC that are on this as well. So these are ones, uh, uh, we'll just do Luminous Needles, uh, just because I don't have this installed. If you have a mod installed already and then try to install it again, you may throw an error. Uh, but you're just going to select the saber that you want, click Download, uh, and it will download. It says Not Enabled because these were all updated by Red. He took all the time to change these for Beat Saber 141 uh, and the new BMF or BMBF, and now we're at 143, but it will still work. So let's go ahead and you just find it, click enable, it'll say, hey, it may not work, but it will just click enable mod, and then boom, you're good to go. And then you're gonna click sync to Saber, or sync to Beat Saber, and you're done. You could actually start Beat Saber, try the mod, play a song. If you don't like it, just be back out of it, and it will bring you right back to this uh, BMBF in Oculus TV, so it's great for just trying stuff out. Uh, and that's pretty much that for doing everything in the headset. Now we're gonna jump and I'm gonna show you how to do it on the PC. So hit tools and up here you'll see it says accessible via browser at, and that's the IP address of your Quest on your local network. Now I'd recommend you set your router to assign a static IP address to your Quest. If you know how, it's not that hard, you can Google it. So then you never have to change anything. And we'll go ahead over here and I'm going to open up the browser window. Uh, and I've actually just created a shortcut to that IP address here. So once you've started uh, BMBF in the headset, you can go to your browser. You can do it on your cell phone too. So you can just be sitting in bed adding songs, mods, whatever. Uh, so here we are. This is what it looks like here. And we can go over here and we can check mods. We can disable, change them around, change sabers, things like that. If you want to install a track, let's just go uh, over here and uh, I'll grab one. So we're at uh, Beast Saber right now. And you're just going to click the little download arrow. I don't know what this is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm using Chrome and we can see it just downloaded here at the bottom. So we'll go back to BMBF, I'm gonna go click on upload and we can just directly drag that zip file and then boom, it will say song added down here in the lower right. And then you're just gonna click sync to Beat Saber. Easy peasy, you can do it on the computer, you can do it on the headset, you can even do it on your phone. Uh, so that is that. So if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if this helped you out. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. Be sure to smash that bell to get notified when I do these videos. I do them fairly frequently. You gotta get notified. Uh, and that's that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.